So homeboy, big news, big news today. Big news, okay? I think this big news, y'all might not think this big news, but I can tell you why, this is fucking huge, because this is the future. Okay, so today the FDA, FDA approved the cure for sickle cell disease, okay? Sickle cell is a predominantly black disease. It's where your cells are uh, in the shape of a sickle as opposed to being round. And you have, it been messes with your organs, with your bones, everything, they always sick, it's very expensive, and they tend to die kind of young. Now, a lot of y'all going, wait a minute, Scott, that's a black disease, I ain't got that shit, okay? I ain't got no black disease. Why are you here talking about this, okay? You little bitch ass, okay? We ain't got no sickle cell. Talk about something that we get. Well, could you slow down? Could you calm the fuck down and let me finish? Okay, before you jump off the handle, I know you ain't got sickle cell, okay? I know you ain't got sickle cell, but you got other shit, okay? Jock itch, okay? You know what I mean? Bad breath, and there's a lot of stuff people have, all right? Oh, you all saw that part, right? Yes, okay, hold on, hold on. The groundbreaking approval, approval has eagerly been anticipated by patients and doctors alike. The treatment is priced at 2.2 million per person. It's not freaking cheap. It's not freaking cheap. But this early, the prices for some of this stuff will, uh, who knows, this is America good, probably not. Prices should come down in time. But my point in telling you this is, sickle cell is the first one, okay? But they're gonna be able to work on so many more diseases like this. Like for instance, diabetes or something like that, which is, which, you know, I mean, people believe in time could be fixed with gene editing. Certain cancers, you know, like you carry, you carry, like if you do a, if you do a, a DNA test, a really deep DNA, DNA test, you'll see that, that um, you are susceptible to certain diseases. I did like this full body DNA shit. Now, I don't know if some of y'all can handle this, because they basically tell you what you can die from. They're like, Sky, you're likely to get X, Y, and Z. Okay? So a lot of people don't like doing that because it freaks you out. But if you can handle that shit, okay, then I suggest you do it because it, it lets you know like, hey, you're very likely to get this, so you need to be on the lookout. Shit like that, you know? <laughs> you know? So so we could look, but this this right here is the beginning of the end of a whole slew of diseases. Look at this, Karen is like, aren't you supposed to be mixing drinks? I ain't in the mood. I'm just sitting here talking shit, Karen. You want a drink? What you feel like drinking? Talk to me, Karen. Talk to me, since you ain't been here no more. Oh, what's that little emoji you got there with your teeth like this? Hmm? What the fuck is that? Huh? What does that mean, okay? But anyway, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> my point is, <laughs> My, my point is, this the beginning of the end of a whole slew of diseases, dog. Like, this, this is it. All that shit you're susceptible to back in the day, you know, like, uh, the kid born today is going to be pretty freaking healthy because you're going to be able to edit out a ton of shit, okay? And so all he got to face now is old age, just aging, and at some point, even that's going to be gone, you know? <clears throat> Well, well, you don't like politics, but you heard about what? What you heard about, huh? What, what you heard about, homeboy? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What you all susceptible to? What diseases do you have? Please list your diseases in the comments below. Let me check it. Some, uh, Tom Mix is saying, do it for diabetes next. Diabetes is coming. Diabetes is coming. Matter of fact, with diabetes, I saw that they have this, this, uh, this thing wherein I'm um, like you... They have this thing that you could put under someone's skin and it will release insulin on time. Oh, the herpes cure. Oh boy, that's gonna be a big one. Oh boy, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one, that's a big one, okay? All that's coming though, all that's coming, you know what I mean? All that's coming, just sit tight, okay? Just sit tight, stop scratching and just sit tight. The cure is on the way, okay? <laughs> Receding hairline disease. <laughs> Yes, yes, receding hairline disease. <laughs> this dude said, I've never seen this guy talk without a drink in his hand. There are drinks behind me. See, drinks up on top there, okay? I'm never far away from booze. And then I got a whole cabinet right out there, you know what I mean? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, homeboy, I'm ready. <laughs> 
Red Rasta say, Red Rasta says, they have a cure for everything. They just wait until a lot more people die before they release the cure. Well, that's the thing. Ain't no money in a cure. Money really in making you hang on. Okay, they like you to hang on. Oh, I, you want you want a good example of this, guys? This is real shit. Okay, this is real shit. Okay, so HIV. In the old days, you know, you get HIV, you get AIDS, you drop dead. Okay, over time, medicines have gotten better and better and better and better. Now, you have HIV, you live like a regular person. Matter of fact, like depending on the medication you take, take you probably undetectable, you know what I mean? And that's, that's through a variety of diseases. And then there's also PrEP, wherein like you could have sex with someone that's HIV positive and you know what I mean? Someone HIV positive could have sex and not, and not, transmit, and not transmit disease with, with, with medicines like PrEP. But anyway, the company that was making this HIV medication, right? Um, there was a lot of side effects, not a lot, but, but a certain segment of the population got these side effects, right? They had a better, they had, they had a better version of the drug sitting there, but they wouldn't put it on the market because they didn't want it to get caught. You know, they didn't, you know, they, they didn't want to get rid of the one they had. So they wanted to max that out, even though they know that it was making people sick. You know, and they had a better version. And that's how these drug companies work. They don't really care about you, dude. They in this for the money. So you really got to watch your ass with these dudes. You know what I mean? You, gotta, you really got to be careful out there. Oh, Lord. Cortez. Jonathan Majors wishes there was a cure for his ankle problems. Woo! Boy, I watched that trial. I, I didn't watch the trial today. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let's move this to another window. Okay. I didn't watch the trial today, right? But what I did see was like, um, let's pull him up. Let's pull, let's pull it. Let's pull, let's pull him up. Let's get a picture of my boy, Jonathan Majors. Okay. I talked about this a little bit, you know, initially I was like, man, like it sounds as if I think he's the one who actually called the police. But today he had a text message, a text message or something was, was, um, they, they talked about wherein it looked as if he was telling her that he didn't want her to go to the hospital. Not this time. This is a previous time where, you know, they felt where, where, you know, it didn't explicitly say that he hit her, but it seemed like he could have hit her, you know. And so I don't I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't like to immediately jump out and call people guilty because I watched The Innocence Files on Netflix. And every dude in that, it looked like he was guilty as hell. And then when they finally do a deep dive, you find out that stuff didn't happen. This one, like, again, I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, his text messages today really did not work in his favor, dude. Because it sounded as if he was telling her he didn't want her to go to the hospital or people to see her injuries because they might mistake it and think that something happened. It, it just looked as if he was beating her or something like that and told her to keep quiet. I don't know that that happened understand this i i'm saying i don't freaking know i'm just saying it looked like that cortez okay it looked like that cortez you know what i mean and he's such a good actor man i really like this dude and he was blowing up so big and then right when he's blue boom this shit drop that's life though that's life that's life look at shana said can they cure stupidity what <laughs> probably Probably, if you could change genes, that means that at some point you'd be able to make yourself smarter. You know, we'd all be smart. <laughs> so yeah, he had to just look at it. <laughs> Damn, Red Rast is a hater. <laughs> Red, Ra <laughs> Red Rast is a hater. <laughs> yeah, but but that's that's the Jonathan May. What, hey, what's going on with y'all though? Enough about stuff that. Okay, hold on. Okay. And this this dude this dude has a very valid point. He's saying that this gene editing stuff is scary, but it is scary, but it also hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me get you back in that window, Tom. Where my where my sickle cell window? Okay. This gene editing stuff is awesome, but it's also scary. Yeah, I mean it is scary in a way because technically you could make okay. Say for instance, you only wanted to kill a particular group of people who carried a very specific gene. Like let's say you wanted to kill everyone who was a particular race. 
or had a particular disease. You could do shit like that. You could make weapons like that, okay? For every step forward, there's a little side step where some shit could happen. But I don't think we should move back. We got to keep going, you know? We got to keep going. We got to keep doing this. We got to keep pushing home, boy. You know what I mean? I got love handles and I need Jeet editing to get rid of this shit. That's what I'm waiting for, okay? You're waiting for all kind of diabetes and cancer cure. I'm waiting on the fatness cure. I don't want to take Gozempic because I heard it gives you the runs or constipation and then it messes up your intestines or something like that. So I can't fuck with Ozempic, okay? But a lot of people that y'all see suddenly got slim. It's been Ozempic, oh boy. Ozempic. <laughs> Sky, I got a relationship question because you seem like an expert at dating. Go ahead, ask your question. Ask your question, Brian. Let this chat pick on you. <laughs> there should be a cancer vaccine by 2030, probably earlier than that. The thing with cancer is there's so many different kinds of cancer, which makes it difficult to have one that fixes all. But I have no doubt the kid born today, if you have a kid born right now, December 8th, 2023, when that kid turn 20, everything's cured. He's good to go, okay? He's good to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, 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 yeah, that, but that, that's, it's, it's all coming home, boy. The future is bright. The future is bright. What happened to the girl you used to hang out with? Nikki Huntsman, something with a J, okay? Nikki is, uh... Well, Nikki's still out there. You could find her. She's she's an easy one to find, okay? Nikki Huntsman. You just don't, y'all don't Google that. Do not Google that in front of people, okay? Do not Google her name in front of people. But she was a tipsy girl. She and I had the baddest ass videos ever, okay? Because, I mean, her shit was wild, okay? <laughs> oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't this what led to the zombies in I Am Legend? Probably, probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Look, here's the thing with a new medicine. Any new medicine is kill a couple people in the beginning. You know what I mean? That's why I'm waiting for y'all to take it, okay? And then, you know what I mean? Hopefully no members take it. If you're a member, don't take it yet, okay? <laughs> and then when I see you all still walking around fresh and nice, you know what I mean? Then I'll take it. How about that? <laughs> then I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I know it's safe it's safe 